Hi guys, we are here at 23264 Righteous Lane it's in Waynesville. This is Taylor Hills. So I'll give you a little overview of the neighborhood. This community is not that old. This particular house was built in 2009. A uh, very similar age to the rest of the homes. Trying to get daylight. As much daylight as possible. So if you, if I'm going too quick and you guys like this house, you know, I definitely can come back. Um, the first thing to note is there's not a lot of parking. So it is two car garage. Um, so this particular house, not a lot of parking. It does have the nice white vinyl fencing. Siding from the front does seem to be in good condition. This angle of the roof, I'm not seeing missing shingles, damaged shingles. Um, some quick house stats. This is a three bedroom, two bath. It is a split level, uh, built in 2009, so it is 13 years old. Square footage on the upstairs is 1242. Um, with the basement, that brings it up to 1742. This side of the home definitely could be pressure washed. It's got some mildew build up on it. Very common for Missouri. Yearly taxes on the house is just over $1,000. So $1,074. Lot size is 0.24 of an acre. We do have some cracking over here. Let's see. I would have a home inspector check it out. Um, I always recommend getting a home inspection. You don't have to have one, but it it is very, very worth it. They find a lot of things, even in new built homes. So normally I'd like to get all these lights turned on before the video, but again, I'm trying to get as much sunlight in here as possible. Let's check out the backyard before it gets too dark. Okay, so the sides and back do have the wood fencing. Uh, that is the main highway T that comes, um, take you to base. The interest of the community is just right over there, probably, yep, yeah, right where that SUV is turning. So this is a very nice uh, Missouri flat yard. It looks like they had a pool here and the fence in the backyard does appear to be leaning. So definitely some maintenance that could be, could be done. Let's see here. Back deck looks to be in decent condition. Um, a pressure washing and a staining would go a long way. We do have some a little bit of chipping peeling paint here on the banisters. Stairs seem to be in fairly good condition. And there is a bit of, of road noise. I mean, it's not, not terrible, but you will have some road noise. Some damage to the decking. And especially because since you guys aren't here to see it in person, I'm going to point out every little thing I see just because you aren't here. All right, let me get some lights turned on. All right, so there's the front door. We do have wood flooring in the entryway and wood flooring up in the living, kitchen, dining area. So this is the right of the stairs. Give you a quick overview.
does have nice, tall, vaulted ceilings in here. Gives it a nice, open feel. You could definitely put uh, a table here. Pantry. That could potentially be a watermark or it could be just something if they had something up there on top of the cabinet. So we'll look on the other side of this wall. That's definitely one of the things I look for is any kind of spotting on the ceiling. This looks like it's gonna be the master. Again, it has vaulted ceilings in here. It's a good size room. It has a nice window that is going to be facing the front yard. All right, master bathroom and walk-in closet. We do have attic access in the master closet. Double sinks, a jutted tub, which is nice, and a separate shower. We do have tile flooring in the bathroom. Bedroom two. I am seeing a little bit of staining on the carpet in here. Overall, it doesn't look terrible. Seems to be in decent condition. Um, not a huge room. I would say this is more of a standard size room. And a pretty, pretty standard closet. We have more attic access. And right over here would be the other side of where we saw that staining on the cabinets or above the cabinets. I'm not seeing anything right now. All right, little coat closets. The flooring does continue into the closets, which is nice. All right, and a little hallway bathroom closet. Second bathroom. Tile in here. I don't see any cracking in the tub. No water staining up there. And let's see, let's... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on this side of the wall, which makes me think it might be something that was on top of the cabinets. This is the third bedroom. Carpets seem to be in good condition in here. House seems to be fairly well upkept. I'm not even seeing a lot of nail holes.
So that is the first floor, or the upper floor. So we just came down at the foot of the stairs is the laundry. So tile, the stair landing. You have some storage in here. You could easily add a um, rod for hanging storage. Have under the stairs closet good for extra storage the garage all right we're missing some light bulbs so not great light in here it does have this area back here for extra storage right here and then this Probably is our utility closet. Yep, furnace, hot water heater. They have some leftover paint. I'm not seeing any water on the floor, like leaking hot water, leaking furnace. The furnace does have the drain line. So that all looks good. Oh, and that is PEX piping. So it's an upgrade from PVC. Uh, it's more freeze resistant. Your main panel is in the garage. Okay, so this is epoxy flooring, I, I do believe. Like, Maybe garage epoxy flooring. Okay, so kind of an interesting room. This could be a potential, you know, second family room. This looks like a water shut off. So I feel like this part probably wasn't finished and they, they went ahead and they finished it because there's not a lot of lighting up here. It's just this main light. So that's kind of odd. It's got this bump out. And that probably was some kind of plumbing. So I don't think this was originally finished. Here is an, another additional little room in here. It's same flooring, like epoxy garage flooring. And you can kind of see in the drywall and the ceiling, almost like that was a big patch. Or again, just finished and not finished super professionally. So this window overlooks the front yard. And then we do have more backyard access. Some scraping on the walls. I'm assuming they probably had a dog in here.
So the yard is fairly wet. I mean, we have had some rain, but this, this is a pretty wet yard. It does look like there's kind of a, a divot there in the middle. I would say this yard probably has some drainage issues. You do have a sewer district alarm in the yard. And all your downspouts, uh, ideally they should be about five feet away from your foundation, just so you don't have that water, you know, washing back on your foundation. So that's an easy fix, just something to be mindful of. Yeah, we are seeing some more rotting wood here on the stairs. And that, that is the house. Uh, I will get this uploaded and sent over to you guys. Let me know what you think.